20, okay, sorry. Well, you know, it's late at night, so honestly. So this is from Mark O'Maro. It says 2022 will be the strong last year for the Switch, since 2023 will be the new generation for Nintendo with a console. Oh, yeah. Very similar to actual Switch, but a lot more powerful than the PS4 with 4K, new functions, and compatible with old Switch games. Well, I guess that means I don't have to, you know, do the whole thing over again. It is unclear when they plan when they planning to release it. It should be holidays 2023. But they have some games in the pipeline to make a strong debut. Mario Kart, a new 3D Mario 3D. A complete edition of Smash Ultimate, improved versions of Zelda Breath of the Wild, sequel, and Metroid Prime 4, that I think at this point is going to be the Breath of the Wild of the new console with a dual release. There's some casual games there too. The actual Switch should be around at least until 2024, with some compatible games for both systems. After that, they will focus on the new console. There is just a lot of confusion with this one. Apparently, this guy is apparently known for being a leaker or something. I'm guessing this. Because I just heard about this guy. Because I, I'm i sorry, I'm just really tired right now. So, that's why I'm doing it this late. So, of course... The Breath of the Wild sequel... To end the development very cycle soon, it means a December 22 release, Light, Time, and Sky. It will be the main event for next E3. Oracle remakes are 2023. Plus, the other things should be released by the end of summer next year. We'll see about that. At least one of them, since I don't know if they're still planning to release both as a single pack. Again, we don't know. Events Wars remakes are getting huge improvements after being delayed to spring. Developers are very busy after a reveal at E3. And Justice Systems is, more, is helping more than they expected. <coughs> Which means this game has to fight with the Fire Emblem remake that next year. So I won't be surprised if they release both games. With one to two months of difference. Like in the GBA era. <coughs> Sorry. I'm sleepy if you can tell. Nintendo's very happy with the sales of Metroid Dread. If I'm not facing everything. I You can hear me read it. So Metroid Dread with two million sales after two months. They plan to release some free DLC, like a new difficulty mode, at the end of next year. I thought people don't like that stuff. Metroid Prime Remasters announcement are coming very soon. Since they want to keep the momentum for the franchise and the project is complete. Metroid Prime 4 in 2023. We'll see. And also it would be a smart move to release the other... I'm not going to read every single thing of this, but if you if I don't read it, you can just see it right here. Okay. And initial plans are Pokemon Legends of Arceus, Kirby and the Forgotten Land, Castlevania 1 plus 2, Casual IP, which I think just has to be something. Splatoon 3, FE Echoes, which I'm not sure that's going to happen. This other thing. Um, Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle 2, Bayonetta 3, Metroid Prime, New 2D DK, Pokemon Let's Go Sequels, Breath of the Wild, something, and Monolith Project. I don't think there is going to be more for more outside of some finished games like Style Bouquet, that's still coming with a 2021 20, release, and one niche up game from Intelligent. And sadly, some delays can happen. Yeah. Not much if the original content will survive on the Switch of an all-star route. And to finish off, I have been talking about a new racing in by Nintendo since this. But not as a Mario Kart, but apparently things could change a bit since last time. The thing is, after the insane sales, Nintendo decided to not release it on the Switch. And as a launch title for the next console, as the new Mario Kart. Even if this game was not supposed to be a Mario Kart in the beginning. See you with more info. I'm I I almost feel tired right now. Yeah, this is from this guy, and I just I'm sorry I made this, but if you're interested, check him out. And these are from what he says. 
I wouldn't believe everything he says like 100%. Take this with a grain of salt, and I will see you later. Bye.